All right, this is a short video. I'm gonna try to keep it short as possible about the problems that I'm having with Ableton Simpler and the Snap feature, okay? If you look at Snap, look in the info box, it says enabling Snap will make the start and end points snap to the waveform zero crossing, reducing the likelihood of clicks. That's what it's supposed to do. Well, in this sample, if you look, I already pretty much have the sample locked into zero crossing at the beginning and the end you know so it shouldn't click so if we listen to it it sounds pretty good it's just a bass sample and I don't, I'm not hearing any pops and clicks at the beginning or the end so I don't know if it's working or not but I already did it by hand so it doesn't matter this is classic mode and in one shot mode sounds pretty it sounds a little smoother in one shot to me with and snaps on either way but it is what it is the problem isn't if I play the sample and let it play out the problem is if I re-trigger the sample before the first note ends then you will hear a click It's very audible listen if you hear it if you just play the sample by itself it's fine but if you re-trigger it before it ends then you hear a click so if you have notes that repeat very quickly you're going to hear a click on every note and you got to figure if this is just one instance of sampler that's doing this just imagine how many pops and clicks you'll have if you have if you're using multiple instances of samplers or samplers in ableton and you're re-triggering them anything quickly you're going to have lots of pops and clicks now just to shed more light on the situation what I did was I just created a, a, a quick little clip here that has a few notes where they repeat very quickly so that you can hear this, what I'm talking about, this lack of snap feature working. And this is it, right? So if you notice, these two notes are clicking and all three of these are clicking because this note plays and this one's cutting it off before it ends. So these are all clicking and these two are clicking. Listen. Now there's nothing that I can do inside a sampler or simpler, I should say, to seem that seems to eliminate that popping and that clicking there. I, I went through, I changed all, I went to change the ADSR envelopes. I, I went from one shot to classic. Nothing that I've done inside of Simpler seems to stop that. Now, the only way I've seen to stop that was I actually made three different instances of Simpler with the same sample, right? And what I did was I used compressors and side chaining to eliminate those pops and clicks because I believe what's happening is like I said when the sample plays if you re-trigger it the original sample isn't isn't getting stopped at a zero crossing before the next sample begins so what I did was I got three instances here and I split the sequence if you look at the sequence I had this is the original and I actually split it up to three different instances I took some notes out of here put it in the second instance and the third instance, just so that I can compress the problem child notes with side chaining to eliminate the clicks. So this is what the original sounds like with no side chaining. And you hear it, you hear the clicks. Those notes are clicking and these are, right? Now, if I go to these three and play these three instead, there's no pops and clicks at all. To me, this is a ridiculous workaround, but this is what worked. So I took the first, the first note and I put a compressor on it and the, the uh, side chain is being fed from the second note. Then on the second note, I have a compressor with side chain being fed from the third note. And the third note has a side chain being fed from the first note so that this pattern here, which is the original, is now split up to three different tracks. 
three different instances is simpler so that I can compress those notes so that I can get a, 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 a pattern with no pops and clicks in it. Just like this. That's a lot smoother than this. You can hear the clicks. So like I said, this is the one, this is the compressed version. The side chaining. And this is without side chaining. To me, it seems to, like a ridiculous workaround for something that I believe that should be done with Snap. If Snap does wasn't made to solve a problem like this, I don't understand what Snap is doing or what it's there for. If anyone knows of another easier way to solve this problem, let me know because I have tried everything and I haven't found another solution. I mean, if I have to split up a track and, and make multiple instances is simpler just to get it done and that's what i have to do but it just seems like a ridiculous workaround to me this seems like something that should be pretty much you know it, it should be solved by snap and if it's not solved by snap there should be another feature inside of simpler that would prevent that